So what happens in the federal system, I think what the, the takeaway, there's so much to take away, but I have to say something. The lengths that they will go to, to prevent evidence that is beneficial to you is astonishing. You would think that if you're charged with being accused of being a foreign agent for our country, betraying our country after what he's lived his life to do, you should be able to present any piece of evidence that exonerates you. And we were prevented from talking about his career as NYPD. We were prevented to talk about a civil lawsuit against the subject that he was surveilling who had been served on his property a few months after my husband's surveillance. We couldn't talk about the China initiative, which I'd like to talk about a little bit more. We were not allowed to show his entire interrogation video, which exonerated him. They only showed like two minutes of it or three minutes of it, which of course, after so talking to them for an hour and a half, they pull out what they want to make him look bad. And 99.9% .9 of it, it shows that he was obviously targeted and used. But I have to tell you something. What's so disturbing about this case is that what he did is not illegal. There was no crime, zero, absolutely no crime. So to create something and create a case because he's an American citizen, I guess, I don't know. He's the only American citizen charged in this case. His history, it's good for clicks. It's good for a press conference. You know, 